Good afternoon. Uh, thank you all for being uh, here today. We're very happy to have you. I'm Stefan Ospolizoides, Dean of the School of Architecture. And uh, I would like to welcome you to this room. There's about 100 of you here and one dog. And uh, there's about uh, a bunch of others uh, in overflow room with another dog. <laughs> and then there's, there's 300 people on the internet, so there's an awful lot of people participating in tonight's lecture. We're thrilled to have you. It's a great honor to have uh, a delegation visiting us from Paris that includes Michel Picot and André Finot, the French uh, friends of Notre Dame, and uh, the two principal architects of the restoration of the building, Philippe uh, Villeneuve and uh, Rémi Fremont. Um, we are very happy to have them, of course, here. We've spent some time with them already, and uh, I would like to ask uh, Professor Stroy to provide a more formal introduction to the lecture tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanos, and I want everyone here uh, today to realize that this would not be happening without Stephanos's vision, Stefano Polozoides, our new dean's vision, that this had to happen, this lecture and this lecture on our namesake, Notre Dame. Thank you, Stephanos. We're here tonight to celebrate the ongoing restoration of one of the great monuments of the world. Notre Dame de Paris is our namesake, and perhaps the best known of the Gothic cathedrals of France. We are here also to celebrate the work of four great Frenchmen who love Notre Dame, and are working hard to restore her. Michel Picot, who will be translating tonight from the Friends of Notre Dame. And André Finot, also from the Friends of Notre Dame and from the communications for the cathedral. Rémi Fromont, architect, uh, and Philippe Villeneuve, uh, architect for Notre Dame, which is quite a title to be the architect of Notre Dame, and they're in charge um, with the third architect, Pounet, to restore the building. Now, when President Macron said that the rebuilding should express our time, Philippe Villeneuve held firm and said that she should be restored. When the president said it would be done for the Olympics in 2024, he cautioned. When the architects of the world saw this as a great chance to make their own mark on a beloved icon, he advocated a faithful restoration. When experts said that there were not enough large trees and not enough craftsmen to reconstruct the roof, Philippe did not give in. Most importantly, when historians and others promoted, pointed out that the flesh the spire was not original, but a 19th century tower by Ville Le Duc, and we could totally redo it. He, advocating, he advocated reconstructing the great tower, not in glass and steel, but as it had been in wood and metal. Thankfully, Philippe Villeneuve held firm against the forces, I want to say of darkness, the forces, <laughs> held firm against the forces of disfigurement and iconoclasm. The people of France rallied around their mother, Notre Dame, as did the people of the U.S. and the world. And the government voted to rebuild as it has been. On behalf of all lovers of art and architecture, and on behalf of the University of Notre Dame du Lac, we thank you and honor you for rebuilding Notre Dame back to the way she was. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't speak English. <laughs> I try sometimes, and uh, sometimes I have beautiful accents, but uh, uh, I don't want to, 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 to make love. Uh, exactly. So I'm going to speak French. And uh, thanks, Michel, to translate my, uh, my French. So um, thank you to be. Uh, merci d'être aussi nombreux. Nous allons essayer de vous présenter la, les travaux de la reconstruction de la cathédrale depuis l'incendie jusqu'à aujourd'hui. So we are going to present you the works of reconstruction of the cathedral since the fire of 2019 until today. Tout ça va commencer par euh, enfin, je vais essayer de parler peu. Euh, mais de montrer beaucoup d'images. I will try to speak little, but to show you a lot of pictures, which will be hard. <laughs> Because yesterday, <laughs> this was too long. <laughs> so today, I'm going to speak shortly. And you don't speak very well good English. So, um, uh, voici uh, la fameuse flèche de violer le duc peu de jours avant l'incendie. The famous fire of Viola le duc a few days before the fire. And uh, you can see the, uh, et vous pouvez voir le l'énorme échafaudage uh, au pied de la flèche. You can see the huge scaffolding at the foot of the fire. And uh, cet échafaudage ne reposait que sur quatre points. The scaffolding was lying only on four points. Uh, C'est ce qui a sauvé la cathédrale. This is what saved the cathedral. Parce que lorsque la partie supérieure de la flèche a basculé, when the upper part of the flèche spire collapsed, uh, le reste a fait est tombé verticalement. Donc, et l'échafaudage a résisté. So the rest collapsed vertically and the scaffolding has resisted. Alors, vous avez ici des vues qui montrent l'incendie, après l'incendie, avec les voûtes euh, couvertes de, de bois, de pierre, et l'intérieur de la cathédrale prise depuis l'abside vers les grandes orbes. Et l'intérieur de la cathédrale seen from the abside. Et les autres vues de ce. The cathedral after the fire, and the inside of the cathedral, and the, you can see the vaults, uh, the vaults uh, destroyed. In the middle, you have the transept, the, the place where where the fire. Uh, left, you can see the nave, and uh, right, you can see the transept. In this picture, you can see the statue of the Vierge, the Vierge du Pilier, Notre Dame de Paris. And in front of, uh, you can see the woods and the, the stones from the woods and the spire. And here you can see the purpose, upper part of the spire, who uh, fall down on the nave. And just after this uh, fire, we uh, <laughs> I don't translate in French. <laughs> C'est l'intégration. Euh, après l'incendie, euh, nous avons très rapidement, c'est-à-dire dès le lendemain, travaillé pour sauver la cathédrale. After the fire, so we worked very quickly uh, the day after to save the cathedral. And uh, en deux, trois jours, euh, ces choses-là, euh, c'est bien ce truc. Uh, so in two, in two or three days, we are installed these uh, buttresses. <laughs> um, you, you can see the woods, and uh, they came from uh, Belgium. Because in France, we hadn't uh, this wood uh, immediately. And the stones were completely uh, Destroyed, destroyed with the fire, and the statues of Yoli Duc, the Chimère, the Vagabi, the Chimère, uh, were um, partially 
So uh, the, 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 the chimeras are grotesque, were uh, partially uh, destroyed, as you can see here. And um, after the fire, we have to protect the boats um, against the rain. And the fire begins uh, Monday and Friday, the boats were protected. This is this uh, umbrella. Yes. And the two, um, pour essayer de maintenir la stabilité du monument. To try and, uh, and uh, maintain the stability of the monument. Car uh, l'architecture gothique est une architecture dynamique. Uh, the gothic architecture is a, a dynamic architecture. <coughs> and when uh, it's a, a system, if you uh, one element uh, falls, all the other elements can be uh, concerned. Yeah. So it's very dangerous. So um, if the walls fall down, the flying buttress can uh, push, push, push the wall. Yeah. And the wall falling, and the arc, the flying buttress falling, and the vaults of the tribune falling, and all the cathedral could fall. So to stop this uh, station, uh, we need centre, uh, charpent en bois. So we, we built uh, big uh, hangars in uh, wooden that you can see uh, there. So we go. And this is the system. This hangar. Et c'est un travail de précision car il y a 28 Arc du temps à Notre-Dame de Paris. It's a work of precision because we have 28 large flying buttresses at Notre-Dame. Et aucun n'est identique. <coughs> And none of them is the same. Et la charpente, euh, la charpente est complètement euh, précise et suit parfaitement l'arc de, de l'arc du temps en laissant une marge de 5 cm. And the framework is following exactly the uh, the uh, flying buttresses with uh, some five centimeters of difference. And after it's the end of the work, you can see the, the cathedral with the sun. And after all the, the woods and the stones who fall uh, on the platforms. Um, have been um, okay. And we removed. We removed the. We removed all what was on the floor. Uh, <laughs> uh, we could not go uh, below the vaults because we did not know in what state the vaults after the fire. Because we did not know uh, the state of the vaults after the fire. <coughs> Pour la plus grande partie médiévale du XIIe et du XIIIe siècle, these vaults are uh, mostly uh, from the Middle Ages, so the 12th and 13th century. Et, et leur épaisseur est très très mince. Uh, pour le cœur, 15 cm. Their thickness is very different, 15 cm for the vaults of the choir. And for the nave, 18. 20 cm. For the nave, 18 to uh, 20 cm. So it's different from one part of the other. Et en entre les murs, 12 mètres 50. Between the walls, 12 mètres 50. Uh, so uh, the fire, the water, and the. Et la chute des bois. The fact that the, the woods had, had fallen down. Uh, on peut branler dans ce pays, et donc on ne savait pas du tout. Dans quel état elles étaient, autrement dit, est-ce qu'elles pouvaient tomber brusquement ou au contraire être stables? So all the masonry was weakened and we didn't know whether the vaults would stay or they would risk to collapse. Donc il fallait qu'on évacue ces gens-là. We had to remove the, au sol, the stones and the euh, avec des robots. Tibers. And we use robots to see euh, one of these robots. And after. We uh, try. Uh, we, 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 we,
we work on the extra, extra dose of the valves. Je voulais vous montrer l'échafaudage de la croisée dont je vous ai parlé au début. I wanted to show you the uh, scaffolding. Uh, you can see uh, que les tubes uh, sont soudés, tordus. You can see that the, the tubes are melted, they are uh, in all directions. Et, et de la même manière que pour les voûtes, on ne savait pas s'il allait tenir ou non. And in the same way as for the valves, we didn't know whether the scaffolding would uh, hold or not. Et il pouvait éclater, or uh, it could, could break up or collapse. So uh, you, you can see uh, some elements, uh, des, 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 des poutres qui, qui ceinturent l'ensemble et qui évitent justement à l'échafaudage de s'ouvrir. Et nous avons grignoté l'échafaudage depuis l'intérieur. You can see, uh, you can see timbers that are sustaining the, uh, the scaffolding and we have uh, grignoté, uh, it's not easy, uh, we have, uh, I would say, eaten progressively Chip the scaffolding. Chipped Chip away. away the scaffolding, thank you very much. Thank you. And you can see uh, the, the worker and uh, we work the, uh, at night. And uh, you, you can see uh, the, the dissolution. And uh, after, et après, euh, nous avons mis des échafaudages le long des murs pour pouvoir mettre un plancher au niveau des voûtes et échafauder, mettre sur cintre des voûtes. Afterwards, we have installed scaffoldings inside the cathedral to be able to, to have a floor below the vaults and to be able to work on the vaults from inside. So là, vous avez la nef. This is the nave of the cathedral with the scaffoldings. Alors, euh, on, on ne voit là absolument plus les murs, les piliers. So you can't see anymore the pillars, the walls. Euh, là, c'est depuis, euh, enfin, depuis la nef. C'est le vers le cœur. From the nave to the choir. Et au sol, la croisée du transept. And on the ground, you have the crossing of the transept. And, uh, ça, cette photo, and this is, depuis la croisée du this is from the crossing of the transept. Il y a quelques semaines, ça a encore changé. A few, a few weeks ago, it, it has changed again. Alors, another part of this uh, award uh, concerne uh, le mobilier, les vitraux, uh, les statues, uh, les, les clôtures uh, sculptées, les chapelles, another les part, villes. Another part of the works is about the, uh, the, uh, the closing of the choir, about the statues, about the furniture, about the chapels. And the organ, the great organ. The grand organ n'a absolument pas été touché ni par le feu, ni par l'eau. The grand organ has not been touched neither by the fire nor by the water. Uh, il a reçu, en revanche, une énorme quantité de poussière, de suie et de plomb. Uh, Aber it received a big quantity of uh, dust, of uh, lead and of soot. Et le, les vitraux de la Grande Rose Ouest sont intacts. The stained glass window of the West uh, Rose Window are uh, intact. Et aucun vitrail, aucun vitrail de la cathédrale n'a été touché détruit, brisé pendant cet incendie. So no, none of the stained glass windows have been uh, broken or touched during the, the fire. Et même si euh, les images que tout le monde a vues euh, de l'incendie peuvent paraître épouvantables d'un point de vue monumental, c'est une perte inestimable, mais les dégâts réels sur le monument sont relativement réduits si on compare l'importance et le gigantisme de l'édifice. So even if the images of the fire uh, were very scary, actually, uh, no part of the interior of the cathedral was uh, really touched. On a perdu uh, 15% 
the ground rules. So we have lost about 15% of the large vaults of the cathedral. On a perdu la charpente médiévale de la nef et du chœur. We have lost the uh, <coughs> framework of the nave and of the choir. Et la flèche uh, et la couverture. And the spire. And the covering uh, of Violet de Duc. Évidemment, euh, quelques dégâts collatéraux comme le sol. Evidently, there were some uh, collateral damages like the, the floor. Euh, deux piliers de la nef euh, que le feu a endommagé. Two, two pillars of the nave were damaged Mais by the fire. Mais structurellement, le monument n'a absolument pas bougé depuis le jour de l'incendie. Il est truffé de capteurs. So structurally, structurally the, the building has not uh, moved uh, from the fire and we have installed uh, uh, captors uh, everywhere inside the building. And you can see the organ because I the organ, so it is about the organ because uh, I know it. <laughs> And because it's the, the biggest in France, so and it's a, a bit abimed, the poussière, a little bit damaged. The mais dust. Euh, les l'orgue, le buffet d'orgue vient d'être restauré en place dans la cathédrale. <coughs> so the buffet of the organ has been restored now and will be reinstalled in the cathedral. Et le matériel musical, les tuyaux, toute la partie instrumentale va être reposée en janvier. And uh, all the instrumental part of the grand organ, especially uh, the pipes, will be reinstalled from January next year. Bien de tout euh, pour soutenir les luttes. On a d'abord donc mis les cintres sous les arcs du temps. Et quand on a pu aller sous les luttes, après un diagnostic, on a mis sur cintre les arcs, puis les boutins. So to sustain the, uh, the vaults, we've installed the, the hangers that you see here under uh, different vaults of the cathedral. Là, vous avez les éléments de charpente de l'abside. So we have the elements of the timber frame, framework of the uh, abse of the cathedral. And uh, 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 vous voyez les éléments de charpente qui épousent parfaitement au millimètre près la forme de la voûte qui s'était effondrée. So you have the on the left you have the hangers that uh, will be used to uh, reconstruct the part of the vault which collapsed. Uh, parce qu'on avait des relevés extrêmement précis en trois dimensions. Et le nuage de points, viser laser, tout ce que vous voulez, la haute technologie pour nous permettre de redessiner exactement la vue. So we had all the description actually of the vaults, which was documented, uh, including a laser uh, reading of, of the vault. Je vous ai montré tout à l'heure uh, la croisée du transept, sans oui. échafaudage. C'est de là que va partir l'échafaudage qui va s'élever à 100 mètres du sol pour rebâtir la flèche et la voûte ensuite. So you've seen the crossing of the transept in one of the previous pictures. This is from this crossing of the transept that will be built the scaffolding which will uh, ensure that we can build the spire. So this will be a 100 meter high scaffolding and, and a new spire. After the reconstruction, and then and then after the reconstruction of the spire, we will rebuild the vault below the, the spire at the crossing of the transept. We begin from the spire and after we close. So, the uh, will weigh about 500 tons. will weigh about 500 tons. And the soil uh, is potentially a reserve archaeological. And the ground is potentially an archaeological uh, reserve, reservation. Mais Jules et Duc avaient taillé dans le sol, des tranchées, sans fouille archéologique. 
pour mettre des canalisations pour le chauffage à air chaud, qui était révolutionnaire à l'époque, moderne. But we had uh, put trenches uh, in the in the ground for the, the heating of the cathedral, which was revolutionary at that time. Et donc les 500 tonnes sur un sol dont on ne connaît rien, c'était très dangereux. So 500 tonnes on uh, such a ground, it was dangerous. Donc on a fait des fouilles préventives. Et ces fouilles ont permis. So there were uh, preventive excavations. Uh, At this place. Yeah. Uh, this is a wonderful sculpture um, from the Jubé. Uh, this is a sculpture from the root screen of the cathedral. Alors, c'est un mur uh, qui fermait le chœur. It's a wall which was okay. closing the, the choir of the cathedral where the, cl uh, the clerks yes. were. Le reste de la From the rest of the cathedral. Le, le cœur était ceinturé d'une clôture en pierre sculptée qui représentait la vie, de la, la vie du Christ. So the, the choir was closed by a, a, a closing which was a representing the life of Christ. Et au XVIIIe siècle, la liturgie ayant évolué, on a détruit la clôture de cœur, le jubé, qui fermait le cœur. De la nef. And in the, the 18th century, uh, was destroyed the root screen, which was separating the choir from the nave. Et les, les pierres ont été mises dans le sol à l'entrée du chœur. And the stones were put in the ground at the, at the beginning of the choir. Et là, nous avons retrouvé ces éléments sculptés de ce mur, avec des sculptures du XIIIe siècle. And we, we found a uh, This part of the, the root screen plus a sculpture from the 13th century. Et euh, cette partie représentait euh, la, la, la mort du Christ avec euh, le jardin des oliviers, la crucifixion, la mort du Christ, la Vierge et Saint Jean. So, so this part was uh, representing the death of Christ with the uh, et, olive tree hill. Et, et tout ça était peint, mais nous avons retrouvé la polychromie d'une fraîcheur absolument Everything was painted, and we found again the uh, polychromie of, of the sculpture. Et today, uh, Notre-Dame uh, a conservé cette clôture de cœur du côté nord et du côté sud so, des collatéraux. So today, we still have this uh, closing of the choir in the north part of the choir and the south part of the choir. Euh, nous avons également anticipé, de, puisque le délai qui nous a été donné est très court, il fallait que pendant tous les travaux préparatoires que vous avez vus là, on réfléchisse à ce qu'on allait faire à l'intérieur de la cathédrale dans d'autres parties. As a, the delay for the uh, termination of the restoration was very short, we had to think about all the restoration of the other parts of the cathedral. Et euh, c'est le cas pour les chapelles euh, qui ceinturent le chœur. Which is the case for the chapels of the choir of the cathedral. Donc vous avez en haut euh, l'état du déambulatoire, sale, euh, les joints gris. So on top you have the state of the, the ambulatory of the cathedral, uh, dirty and black. Et en, en dessous, une chapelle après un nettoyage. Below, you have uh, one of the chapels after first cleaning. Et les suivantes, c'est la restauration euh, légère. And the other one after uh, light restoration. And, uh, voilà à quoi ressemblera Notre-Dame. This is what will be Notre-Dame. En 2024. In 2024. Uh, vous avez les chapelles du cœur qui ont un décor du 19e siècle, dessiné par Julien Duc. The choir chapels have uh, um, paintings uh, of the 19th century. And above, by you, can Duc. See, uh, you can see the vaults of the deambulatoire. And you can see the vaults of the ambulatory. And you can see the other, uh, other side. And, you can... and the other side, yeah. Alors, so the... the stained glass windows. Donc, 
three days after the fire, we, we removed the maître verrier. Plusieurs ateliers ont été réquisitionnés pour venir déposer les vitraux des parties supérieures dans la nef et dans le cœur. So three days after the fire, the, the glass masters were uh, required to remove the stained glass windows of the upper part of the nave and of the choir. Alors, nous avons des vitraux 19e de l'époque de Vieux Duc. So we have some uh, stained glass win windows from the 19th century. Dans le cœur. Uh, from Vieux Duc in the choir. Et dans la nef, nous avons ces vitraux. And in the nave, we have uh, stained glass. 1963-65. Modern stained glass windows from 1963-65. À gauche, c'est avant nettoyage et restauration. Left before cleaning. Et à droite, after. And right after cleaning. So during uh, all this time, uh, everywhere in France, uh, several uh, enterprises work. Not all in Notre Dame, in Notre Dame, but. Uh, in the uh, hair tone, and uh, progressively this uh, work progress, progressively progress. Progressively, so uh, we made progress, yes, step by step. On nous a dit que la cathédrale avait été polluée avec des poussières de plomb provenant de la fonte, de la couverture, de la flèche et de So we were saying that, that we were saying that the cathedral had been uh, polluted by uh, the lead dust from the melting of the covering of the roof and of the spire. Et c'est la raison pour laquelle on n'a pas non seulement nettoyé les murs ou les routes, mais on les a aussi dépolluées. So we have not only cleaned the, the walls and the vaults, but we, are, we have also decontaminated the uh, interior of the cathedral. Et on a uh, mis au point des protocoles et on a opté pour l'application systématique de l'annex. So we have uh, put in place uh, specific protocols and we have used the uh, latex uh, technique to do so. À gauche, vous voyez un escalier de la tour sud. Left, you have de la latex du sol au plafond. Left, you have a staircase of the south tower covered by latex everywhere. Et à droite, le latex a provoqué une réaction sur la pierre et a révélé un ancien décor de violet du. And right, the and right, the latex as a as a made uh, appear a uh, uh, decoration uh, that had disappeared from uh, Violet Duc time. No, we have uh, yeah, removed yeah, yeah. the latex, we removed the latex. And afterwards you see the, the state of the stone after this restoration. And we restore again the So the, the joints, so we restore also the joints of the cathedral. And uh, when the wall are uh, cleaned, uh, cleaned up, uh, on voit la pierre et les joints. You can see uh, the, the stone and the joints. Uh, no, it's not very beautiful, it's uh, too difficult to understand the wall. So uh, we on a oui. pris oui, une chosen. patine, c'est-à-dire de, de l'eau avec de la chaux, un petit peu de pain, un fixatif. Oui, 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 nous avons décidé de mettre une patine avec de l'eau et de la chaux, je ne sais pas. C'est moi qui viens en matin. So you can see here three uh, tests. So we have made different tests for the restoration of the walls that you can see here. And uh, we choose the left. So we... <coughs> and you, you can see the wall and the and the vault. So uh, I think it will be uh, beautiful. Et before, uh, avant l'incendie, le jeudi, uh, 
before the fire, on the Thursday. Nous avons enlevé les statues we had, en cuivre. We had removed the, the copper statues of the spire. Sur cette photo, vous voyez la flèche. Les deux photos de gauche sont de l'époque de l'achèvement la, de la flèche. La toiture de gauche est toujours celle du XVIIIe siècle. Elle n'est pas restaurée encore par les musées. Mais vous avez les statues en cuivre qui sont brunes. So the two left uh, pictures so you have the spire and the roof at the time of uh, the building of the spire by Violet le Duc. So the roof is still the medieval roof and you see the statues of the spire on the left uh, on side uh, before uh, when they were installed by Violet le Duc. Alors, euh, la, le choix de restauration a été non pas de conserver les statues vertes avec leur patine, mais de rendre à nouveau, euh, dans un état neuf, l'œuvre de Dieu et de choisi de restituer l'état apparent et structurel de ces statues, donc en grand. So the choice was made not to restore the statues in green as they were the day of the prior, but in brown, which was the, uh, the color of the statues when they were installed by Violet Le Duc in the uh, 19th century. Et, et je ne résiste pas, surtout ici, aux États-Unis, à évoquer la statue de la liberté à New York. And I don't resist to the uh, idea of evocating the uh, statue of liberty in New York. Because euh, Bartholdi, le sculpteur, avait appelé Eugène Violet le Duc pour la structure de la statue de la liberté. Because Bartholdi had called, at that time, the, Bartholdi, the sculpteur of the statue of liberty, had called uh, Violet le Duc at that time to get his science. Et euh, ces statues font 3 mètres, 3 mètres high. C'est un monumental pour les choses extérieures. Et la statue de la liberté est évidemment euh, gigantesque. Donc ces statues sont à 3 mètres high. La statue de la liberté est large. Mais c'est plus grand. Mais Bartholdi est venu voir Dieu et Dieu, car il savait que ces statues-là étaient faites, étaient la réponse euh, à son grand projet. But Bartholdi has come to visit Violet Le Duc because he, he knew that these statues were the response of his big project. Donc euh, on peut considérer, sans exagérer beaucoup, <laughs> que la statue de la liberté de New York est née à Notre-Dame. <laughs> So we can, imagine, we can imagine that the Statue of Liberty of New York was born in Notre Dame, and thanks to Violet Le Duc. Ah. <laughs> and you, you can see the statue of Violet Le Duc, l'architecte Saint Thomas, patron des architectes, qui est la seule statue qui se tourne vers sa flèche. So you can see the statue of uh, Violet Le Duc. In the uh, person of Saint Thomas, the only one looking up to the spire. And this is the statue. The statue of the restoration on the right hand side. As for it, my English is not very uh, academic, uh, so uh, I'll try to, to speak to you in English later. On the Michel will help me uh, if I had uh, too much problems. Um, before the fire, uh, the wooden uh, roof uh, was made of three parts. Uh, the left and the right part were from the Middle Ages, on the beginning of the 13th century. On the middle, uh, in violet color. Uh, was the, the spire on the transept roof uh, rebuilt by the Duc uh, in more or less uh, 1960. Um, these pieces of carpentry are very important in French history of carpentry uh, because um, in uh, Notre Dame, 
uh, is the first. Uh, in Notre Dame, you can find uh, the first uh, example of the very big uh, wooden roof uh, with the new technique, uh, with the, the use of the tonneau, one more test, uh, tonneau in English, um, which is still in use uh, now, actually. <coughs> Uh, this more or less the, the first masterpiece of carpentry uh, with this technique in, uh, in France uh, at the beginning of the 20th century. Uh, at the opposite, in the middle of the 19th century, you've got Violetux Spire, flesh, uh, which is uh, another masterpiece of uh, wooden carpentry with the 19th century technique. So in the structures of the roof, uh, you have uh, the beginning uh, of the history, on the end of the history of the wooden carpentry in, in France, on the, in the same place, which was uh, quite uh, unique. Um, these are drawings are made by myself on the Cédric Tronso, a friend. Um, these are surveys that we made by, by hand in the cathedral. Um, and uh, we learned by this survey that uh, in the nape, uh, and in the core, uh, you have two, two different structures, but for each structure, uh, always had more or less the, the same design, as you see. Uh, but inside in this design, um, you had always uh, small differences, uh, which could explain how the, the um, uh, comment is, the master carpenter, master carpenter, master carpenter. Um, had uh, invented uh, the, the solution. Uh, first, uh, trusses are quite uh, experimental, and at the end, you've got a very perfect way to build these things. Here's an, an example of what we do on one of the most uh, complex, uh, most uh, complex, complex, complex uh, um, way to, to, to build the, the things, uh, with, as you see on the left, uh, very, very common uh, uh, Knowing, but yes, yeah, so you know, you need a very huge knowing uh, in uh, building with, with wood uh, for uh, designing uh, such kind of pieces. Um, as we learned after the fire, uh, well, we knew before, but we uh, had a confirmation with the days after the fire. Uh, the wooden carpentries uh, from the, the nave, uh, the coil, and the, the spire were uh, very, very well designed. Um, you had no uh, problem with the structure. Uh, the only problems came uh, before because the, um, the roof uh, was not uh, in a very good state and the water came inside uh, the, 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 the wooden uh, structure and uh, the, uh, the, in fact, the water destroyed uh, the, um, the woods. Uh, when the water destroys the woods, uh, all the structures uh, become to, to move, and uh, you have a very huge deformations uh, that you see on the on the last line uh, that you have to uh, uh, and you have to put uh, other pieces of wood on the on the, uh, the medieval woods uh, to to get a correct uh, structure for the roof. Here uh, is a synthesis of uh, what we understood of the, the history of the, the carpentry. Uh, on the upper side, uh, you can uh, see in brown uh, all the medieval, uh, medieval uh, woods uh, that which uh, stayed uh, in the roofs uh, before the fire. Um, in uh, yellow are the pieces which came uh, because of uh, reparations. Um, because the roof was not in a good, uh, because water could pass through the roof and the wood. And in blue, uh, just very few pieces uh, to maintain the structure uh, of the core. So uh, the structures had more or less uh, 800 years, uh, quite to the doubt, uh, and we can say that they were very, very well built. Um, after the fire, we had uh, a few options uh, for the restoration. Uh, what could we do? Uh, we could keep uh, Notre Dame with more or less no roof, just uh, rebuild a flat roof to protect the walls from the water, and no, for example, no spire. 
this was not a very a good way to do the restoration uh, because the silhouette of Notre Dame is very unique and uh, is part of the silhouette of the of Paris. Um, and from the very first days after the fire, uh, everybody did agree to say, okay, we had to, to find the, the silhouette again. Uh, the second way uh, was to rebuild, but with other materials, uh, for example, uh, glass, uh, concrete, uh, steel. Um, we made the, the analysis that first, uh, technically, for the, this would have been possible for the cathedral, but this could have been dangerous. Uh, we had uh, 800, 800 years. Of, of knowledge that the wooden roof uh, worked perfectly with the, the stone of the cathedral. So if we change something, uh, we can disturb uh, the, the, the statics of the, uh, the monuments. Uh, the other thing is that, uh, as Philip has shown you, uh, Leonardic worked on, uh, on the whole cathedral. Uh, while uh, he made this, uh, Notre Dame becomes uh, a Gothic cathedral. Uh, restored uh, in the Gothic states by the Olympic uh, for uh, an entire project. If you don't restore uh, the, the spire on the roof from the Olympic, uh, you lose uh, only make a big uh, quite hole uh, in the idea of the project of the Olympic. So, uh, as um, the heritage uh, theory, uh, this means we make a big a gap between uh, Notre Dame and the history of Notre Dame. The first third thing is too that um, we saw many many uh, drawings with a contemporary uh, architecture, and uh, we did not uh, see one which could uh, fit so well uh, with the cathedral. Uh, all the, the design that we saw were uh, a, new, a new roof on an old building, uh, not a roof for an old building. It's not the same. So. The same, uh, we had uh, also understood that uh, if you wanted to have the same silhouette, uh, especially for the fire, the spire, uh, you had to rebuild uh, with the same material in uh, oak wood. Uh, if you change uh, the material, uh, you say you have to change the shape uh, of the whole spire, uh, so it would happen in the same. The Olympic was uh, work, uh, was uh, uh, kind of a unique. Uh, Conjunction, conjunction, conjunction uh, between uh, external uh, shape, uh, structure, and uh, decoration uh, for the with the statues. Uh, if you move one thing, uh, you got uh, a design uh, project. Uh, for the wooden uh, frame uh, carpentry, uh, from the core on the um, nave, uh, from the uh, for the uh, 12th century. Uh, we had uh, we understood that uh, they were uh, more or less perfectly uh, designed, so we, we don't have to make something better because it was more or less perfect, and uh, it worked for 800 years with no problem, more or less. So the idea that uh, as an heritage, uh, it is a very uh, important uh, piece. This was a very, maybe a very important masterpiece, and. Uh, we were able to repeat as I will explain later. So the decision was made to repeat in the same uh, way, uh, just without uh, all the pieces in yellow, which came out from a reparation because the, the, the roof uh, uh, just let uh, pass uh, water. So this is uh, the project, which is more or less the, uh, exactly the same structure uh, that you had uh, before the, uh, the fire. Uh, you can see the very narrow uh, on the left, on the right, uh, it's the, uh, the wooden structure uh, from the middle, the middle edge type, and on the middle, uh, the structure of the, um, the spire. Uh, so, if you want to rebuild, uh, you, uh, you need uh, to have a few conditions, and um, we are lucky we have them in, in the plan uh, First, you know, you have to know perfectly uh, the, uh, the pieces that have disappeared. And we are lucky because for the spire, we have a lot, lot, lot of archives, uh, which can help us to, to, to rebuild. Uh, these are uh, the drawings from the Billions, uh, the carpenter. Uh, on these uh, drawings are uh, have a precision uh, about uh, one millimeter, so it's uh, very perfect. 
on the models. Uh, they are from the YouTube. We've got two black ones. And they are exactly uh, the same as the, the, the spider point uh, was built. Uh, so with this, we are able to withdraw uh, every piece of the spire. And each kind of uh, small color is a type, it's kind of uh, a way to, to put the woods together. Uh, there are about uh, 1,200 pieces of wood, only for the spire in the context. Uh, and there are more than 2,000 uh, yeah, yeah, joints, yeah. uh, joints uh, of pieces of wood uh, inside. So it's very, very heavy and very uh, difficult to work to, to, to understand it and to rebuild. <laughs> Thank you, Philip, on the animation. <laughs> um, the Spire is a, a very complex uh, project, and um, as we understood, uh, if you want uh, to build it, you can only uh, raise the, the, the pieces one by one. Uh, you can't raise by parts. Uh, because they are all uh, uh, joined together uh, in a crossed way, uh, like uh, a big mikado. I don't know in English. Uh, if you move one piece, uh, the thing uh, doesn't work. Uh, so you have to push one piece after the other uh, if you want to rebuild. So you have here the the, the most important uh, moment uh, of the, um, the raising uh, of the spire as we will build it. Yeah, and piece by piece. It means uh, we have uh, more about a thousand uh, uh, crane. Yes, we, we have to use uh, the, the crane for more or less one thousand time uh, to make the the spire to build the spire. Uh, the second thing is that you have uh, you must have the materials. On, uh, in France, we are lucky; okay, we got very beautiful books. Uh, these ones are uh, more or less 200, 250 years old. Uh, they are uh, 35 meters high, more or less 100 feet. Uh, and uh, the, the, the biggest beams for the spire are uh, 20 meters long and 40 centimeters uh, in section, uh, which, is, which is quite enormous uh, for uh, hooks uh, in uh, a house. Uh, we are lucky too because uh, the forest uh, is uh, is raised by uh, specialists uh, that raise oaks uh, just that way so that we can have a very uh, straight uh, woods. Uh, you can't build the, the spire if you don't have so straight woods because it will move. And it's uh, about 15 generations of specialists to have this kind of woods. And we, we don't you do have uh, the, the specialist uh, for, for building after having the materials. Uh, this is how we will work uh, for the nail on the core by hand. Uh, because when they do that, uh, when you cut, uh, as you see in the pictures, the wood uh, with this kind of axis, uh, you respect the fibers of the wood and it's much more efficient uh, for the, the structure of the wood. Uh, it's different uh, with the spire, uh, which was uh, cut uh, with the mechanics. And we made the same. So here's uh, an example of uh, Chapon de saint pierre and the, the half made uh, demonstration uh, two years ago. Euh, on doit également, comme je vous disais, après le bois, on travaille aussi la pierre, donc on restitue et on reconstruit les voûtes de la cathédrale. So after the wood, we work on the stone and we rebuild the vaults of the cathedral. Et comme pour la flèche, nous avons des plans extrêmement précis. Nous disposons pour les maçonneries de documents comme cela. Euh, qui sont des relevés, des pierres mises en œuvre. On appelle ça des attachements figurés. And as for the, the, the wood, we have very uh, precise documentation. Um, and we have very precise documents to uh, rebuild the vaults. En France, nous avons eu euh, deux guerres qui ont détruit nos monuments. In France, we had two uh, world wars uh, which destroyed our monuments. So, uh, 
Un des exemples est la cathédrale de Soissons. One of the examples is the cathedral of Soissons, située à quelques kilomètres au nord de Paris. A few uh, kilometers of the north of Paris. Et détruite, euh, euh, completely destroyed. Très grande partie. Et on a reconstruit les voûtes, notamment, euh, dans les années 30. And the vaults were uh, rebuilt in the 30s. Et la documentation qui est ici est précieuse parce que on peut voir les cintres et la manière dont le maçon pose les différentes pierres pour rebâtir la voûte. And the uh, document, this one is very precious because you can see the hangers and the way uh, the craftspeople uh, reconstruct the vaults. Mais euh, ces documents-là, on ne les a pas faits pour nous. On les a faits pour euh, des gens qui peuvent être inquiets euh, de la reconstruction de voûtes aujourd'hui. And these documents, we have not done them for us, but for people who could be anxious about the reconstruction of the vaults today. Et on constate aujourd'hui que les voûtes de la cathédrale de Soissons, mais de Reims, mais de Noyon et de beaucoup d'autres n'ont pas de fissures après leur. Euh, And we see that the vaults of uh, the cathedrals of Soissons, Reims, uh, have no. Uh, No cracks, actually, after, after reconstruction. Donc il n'y a pas de raison que nous n'arrivons pas et que les gens paniquent. So no reason to panic. We will succeed. <laughs> Mais nous avons des bureaux d'études, des bureaux de contrôle, des ingénieurs. But we have many uh, controllers, engineers, and so on, overseeing what we do. Là vous avez uh, l'exemple de la reconstruction de la voûte de la nef. Here you have the example of the reconstruction of the vault of the nave. Nous avons pu restituer la largeur des lits de pose de chaque pierre. We have been able to uh, uh, redo, repair the, the whites of the, the bed of stones for each vault. On a également anticipé dans la reconstruction un léger bombage, un léger uh, surélevé légèrement pour leur construction, de sorte qu'après, il y ait une possibilité d'affaissement des jeux. So, in the reconstruction, we have also a little bit uh, accentuated the, the, the curve of the vaults in order to uh, sustain a, a potential weakening uh, afterwards. Uh, Là, vous avez la vue de l'Oculus de la croisée du transept. So this is the Oculus at the crossing of the transept. C'est une voûte qui a été reconstruite au XVIIIe siècle. So this is the vault was rebuilt in the 18th century by Beaufort. Beaufort. Beaufort, sorry. Et euh, vous avez pu remarquer que dans notre protocole de reconstruction de la flèche et de la voûte, nous commençons par la flèche et nous finissons par la voûte. And you have certainly noticed that in our protocol of reconstruction of the spire, we, we begin with the spire and afterwards we rebuild the vault. Euh, nous avons choisi cela parce que vu le poids de l'échafaudage et la faiblesse structurelle de la cathédrale, il était plus simple de commencer par le sol. Oui, il a gagné sur le sol. So we have selected this way of uh, rebuilding the spire because due to the weight of the scaffolding and the uh, weakness of the wall, so it, it uh, looked uh, more cautious to do so. Bien, euh, nous le faisons parce que la voûte euh, n'existe plus. Mais Violet Duc a fait exactement comme nous ou plutôt nous faisons comme Violet le Duc, il a déposé la voûte de la croisée pour bâtir sa flèche depuis le sol. Et Violet le Duc, actuellement, uh, did exactly uh, as we did to build the new spire. He began by uh, uh, removing uh, the vaults at the crossing of the transept, and then building the spire, and then rebuilding the, the vault. Uh, Uh, 
So, um, the only one I think new in the project. Um, for me, it's very important because it's a symbol. And uh, you, you know um, the logo of it. The Russell. Le lendemain de l'incendie, le 16 avril, depuis la tour nord, j'ai repéré le coq sur le toit des tribunes. So the day after the fire, uh, I, uh, I found uh, the roster on the, on the roof of the tribunes of the cathedral. I can't have a... <laughs> <laughs> it's the second time, so when I, I saw this... Uh, <laughs> Uh, voilà le coq. Oh, this is the roster. Descendu uh, juste après l'incendie. After the fire. Uh, always uh, the symbols is very important because, like the statue of Notre Dame, the coq uh, is still alive. Il est encore. Non, il contenait des reliques. So there were uh, reliques inside the coq, the roster. De Saint Denis. Saint Denis. Saint Geneviève. Saint Geneviève. Alors, Saint Denis, premier évêque de Paris. Saint Denis, le premier bishop de Paris. Patron de Paris. Saint Geneviève. Et la uh, Sainte Lady of Paris. De la couronne d'épines. Et de la couronne d'épines. Et de la couronne d'épines. Où est-ce que c'est dans le roster avant le feu Perhaps c'est le nouveau migration. So, um, for me, it was difficult to imagine a restore this roster. Our roster. Ça fait beaucoup. Bon, c'était pas possible de refaire ce coq sans raison. Mais vous observerez que le projet que nous présentons est absolument à l'identique du précédent. So it was impossible to uh, not uh, redo this or uh, restore this cock without a good reason. You can see that the project of restoration of the whole cathedral is as it was uh, before the fire. Et donc, euh, il fallait, je vous explique, euh, garder une trace visible du 15 avril 2019 in the incendie de la cathédrale. In my view, we had to keep uh, a track of the fire of April 2019. It symbolized the uh, feu and the phoenix symbolized the fire, the resurrection, and why not the Holy Spirit. So uh, it's uh, the, the new roster. The new roster will be this one. Uh, and yes. <laughs> voilà. Euh, so it's, uh, ce sont des maquettes. There are mockups of the new roster. The new will be finalized uh, in large one. What we like the statues, uh, like the statues of the spire. So, Rémi gave the roster to Macron. He gave it to the very happy, so I think I can do this with the roster. Thank you. Thank you, Philly, Bernie, for your extraordinary presentation and for your great dedication, skill, hope, and poetry for bringing this back uh, to us all in the future as a 
The most extraordinary monument of all humanity. Thank you. Thank you very much. There must be some questions. Uh, there must be many questions from the people here and from the people in the other room. So let's take a few. Um, as you're rebuilding the cathedral in the same way that it was built historically, are you taking any kind of preventative measures to make sure that a fire similar to what happened in 2019 doesn't happen again? <laughs> yes, the, we didn't talk about it, but uh, of course, uh, you can't uh, tell people that, yes, we will build another uh, wooden structure, but we'll do nothing for the fire. Uh, it will be quite uh, dangerous. Um, we have uh, many ways to protect the, the, the cathedral from the fire. Uh, first uh, is uh, to from the, the source, uh, so no electricity uh, inside uh, the, the wooden parts. Uh, then uh, helping the, the, the monuments uh, not to burn. Uh, for example, the roof uh, has a, um, uh, a small structure uh, to put the, the delayed uh, lead uh, uh, sheets, uh, which go in French volige. Uh, these pieces were uh, one. Uh, an inch, uh, and we more or less double it, uh, so it can be more stronger, and the fire can't reach outside, and the, 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 the firemen can come inside and uh, put the, the fire uh, off before the fire goes out. When the fire goes out, it's impossible to stop it. Uh, so we have to maintain it inside the building. We had a lot of uh, studies uh, with uh, a numerical, uh, three-dimensional, uh, studies and uh, with for, for the fire uh, to help us to, to design it. Uh, second, uh, we we use uh, a few uh, uh, walls uh, to, to to catch the the, the, uh, the the inside of the roof uh, to, to 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 make the volume the volume smaller, uh, so that if something burns, uh, the fire can go from to the other parts. Uh, we can help the firemen to uh, to to have uh, better conditions to work. Uh, so we, we give them a lot of things that we can work uh, better in Notre Dame. And the last one is that uh, we are using uh, no, not sprinkling, but uh, the, the new generation are sprinkling with very few water, uh, but very efficient. Uh, uh, we are a mist of, uh, of, uh, of water, uh, which means that it's not the water. Uh, the water is not on the fire. But the, the water comes uh, in, in place of uh, the, the air, so the fire can't uh, grow. It's much more efficient. So uh, all this together, uh, we hope that uh, we will have no problem with uh, the fire. Yes, sir. Where do you find the stone-based structures? En France, nous avons la chance d'avoir une tradition de restauration des monuments historiques depuis 1830. So in France, we have a tradition of having a restoration of historical monuments since 1830. Nous avons connu la révolution à la fin du 18e siècle, du 18e siècle, et à cette occasion, beaucoup de monuments ont été détruits, vandalisés. So we had the revolution at the end of the 18th century, and a lot of monuments have been destroyed, vandalized. Et parallèlement, euh, en Angleterre, en Allemagne et en Italie et en France, il y a eu un mouvement, euh, on va dire, romantique, euh, qui avait certes le goût des ruines, mais qui aussi avait le goût du passé. Et so in France, in, uh, in, Ingl in France, like in England, in uh, Germany, Italy, and so on. There was this romantic uh, movement, uh, which had also, uh, um, which was very pleased with the ruins, but which wanted also to restore uh, monuments. So both, both, uh, uh, would say ruins, but also restoration of monuments. Et donc depuis cette époque-là, 1830, on a créé un ministère. Since uh, 1830, so there was a creation of a ministry of culture. 
voilà, avec qui, Iso. Pas vraiment culture, mais donc qui s'occupait du patrimoine. Which et, et, et taking euh, care of the, our uh, heritage. Yeah. Et progressivement, euh, on a commencé à restaurer les monuments. Et Vieux-Luc Duc a commencé sa carrière d'architecte à cette époque-là. And progressively, we have begun to restore monuments, and Viollet le Duc began his career more or less at that time. Il n'était pas seul, il y en avait plusieurs. He was not alone, there were many of them. Qui étaient plus ou moins doués. Who were um, uh, more or less good. <laughs> non, mais je ne dis ça pas en rigolant. C'était, euh, on n'enseignait pas dans les écoles d'architecture le gothique ou le roman. On n'enseignait que l'antique. There was no teaching of uh, Gothic or Romanesque in the, in the schools or uh, the universities. There were, was uh, only uh, teaching of antiqui antiquity and antiques. Donc, Violet Duc, euh, qui avait un fort caractère, n'a pas suivi l'école des Beaux-Arts, il a fait ses études. Euh, Violet Duc a, has not uh, followed the école des Beaux-Arts in Paris, but he did his studies. Uh, Stand alone, yeah. Yeah. Bref, il a euh, ainsi, euh, avec d'autres, euh, commencé à restaurer les monuments. Et Pierre euh, Duc, à Notre-Dame de Paris, a commencé le concours, enfin, a passé le concours de 1841 avec la Suce. Mais la Suce avait déjà restauré la Sainte-Chapelle. Donc progressivement, depuis cette époque-là, on a des charpentiers qui refont des charpentes médiévales. On a des tailleurs de pierre qui refont des voûtes, qui refont des murs. On a des maîtres verriers qui restaurent, qui réinventent des vitraux et des facteurs d'or. On a tout un comme ça des métiers qui, depuis cette époque-là, ont été euh, réactivés. So, uh, Viollet le Duc, qui s'est retrouvé en 1841, avec Lassu, et un autre architecte, et Lassu a déjà restauré la Sainte-Chapelle à Paris, et progressivement, il a fait des travaux dans différentes catégories de craftspeople, uh, uh, stone cutters, and masons, and uh, stained glass, glass makers, and, and so on. Et depuis cette époque-là, la France est devenue un des pays euh, les plus importants du point de vue de la restauration et de la doctrine de la restauration. And since that time, France has become one of the most important countries in this type of restoration and especially in this doctrine of restoration. Et évidemment, lorsque des crises comme les guerres, dont je vous ai montré un des exemples, ou des catastrophes comme celle-ci, ce sont des occasions pour rassembler les, les maçons, les charpentiers, tous ces corps de métier autour de ces grands projets, et ça permet de former à nouveau des générations pour les prochains chantiers. And in a way, uh, um, wars or catastrophes like this one uh, uh, were opportunities to, uh, I would say, reinforce this type of uh, craftspeople in uh, different uh, categories for the future. Et à Notre-Dame, aujourd'hui, euh, sur le chantier, vous avez des compagnons un peu plus âgés que d'autres, et puis des tout jeunes qui apprennent leur métier. Et on voit le, la vivacité de, de ces métiers. Et aujourd'hui, à Notre-Dame, vous avez des craftspeople de différents âges, et les plus ones expériences sont en apprenant à ces nouveaux types de formes. So when um, when rebuilding the cathedral, um, why was it so important for you to stick to kind of the, the way it was historically, as opposed to maybe incorporating some modern style elements to, to change it? <rire> euh, C'est une question euh, que nous nous sommes évidemment posée, non seulement nous, architectes, autour de la cathédrale, mais aussi euh, toutes les personnes qui ont euh, contribué à mener vers la réponse qu'on apporte, qu'on porte aujourd'hui, de reconstruire la cathédrale à l'identique. Nous, nous avons dans notre métier d'architecte en chef des monuments historiques euh, une 
perception des choses qui fait que on doit d'abord et avant tout essayer de voir ce que l'on peut restaurer, restituer, reconstruire sans risque d'erreur technique, structurelle, documentaire. Ah, c'est vrai. So, uh, we, are not, we were not the only ones to decide. So, the decision was made uh, on the one hand side by the architects, but also by the other parts interested in this uh, restoration. And we have uh, tried to choose the, uh, the most secure ways of uh, restoring the cathedral uh, as it was before. Et nous avons euh, élaboré un dossier très important dans lequel on pose les différentes hypothèses euh, et nous sommes arrivés à la proposition de restituer la flèche à l'identique en bois et en plomb. Euh, non pas parce que c'était un caprice, parce qu'on avait la nostalgie, certes, il fallait aussi... So we, we established a, a blueprint, and we, uh, in the blueprint, which was established uh, after the fire, so we had uh, several, uh, several uh, assumptions which were made, and uh, our recommendation was to effectively rebuild the cathedral as it was before the fire. Et il y a aussi quand même quelque chose d'important, nous sommes architectes, et il se trouve que structurellement, la cathédrale euh, n'aurait pas pu être stable comme elle l'a été pendant 850 ans, euh, avec une charpente en métal, en béton euh, ou en polycarbonate. De... So we are uh, architects and uh, um, the cathedral would not have lasted uh, 800, uh, 850 years without uh, having the consistency of the different components of the cathedral. So this is the conclusion we came to. Uh, I would like to, to, to add just something. Uh, people ask us often, uh, always, uh, why not uh, putting something new in the cathedral? But why putting something new in the cathedral too? You can ask yourself the question. Uh, I think we have to, to be uh, humble uh, from the, before the cathedral, the cathedral. What do we want uh, people to get after us? Uh, if we build a, a new spire or a new roof, uh, would it be uh, the Philippine roof or would it be uh, the roof uh, of the cathedral? And uh, the Red Duke uh, roof and spire were absolutely perfect uh, for the, the, the design, the global design of the cathedral. So we think that uh, this perfection was enough by itself. And uh, for the cultural heritage, uh, these pieces of, uh, of food on the flat are uh, very for us very important. So we have to, uh, even if we have the surveys, uh, we think that uh, just getting things on the monuments is uh, the, the most effective uh, way to understand it. So it's why we we say that even if you don't really see the, the frame, uh, it's useful <laughs> to put it again on the roof. Let's take one more question before we finish, yes? Um, just in the same vein of uh, restoring it to its historical state, is there any ongoing conversation about also that, like restoring some of the polychromy within the cathedral that's since vanished since the Middle Ages? Comme l'a dit Rémi, Violet Duc a fait une œuvre totale. C'est-à-dire qu'il a non seulement restauré la structure, mais l'art du temps. So, uh, Violet Le Duc a fait une œuvre relativement complète, restaurant not only the structure and the, the flying buttresses. Uh, il a restauré les pinacles, il a fait donc des restaurations qui touchaient la structure. Ensuite, il a fait des restaurations qui concernaient euh, le vocabulaire, le décor. Donc, il a... So he, so he restored the pinnacles, for instance, but he, has, he, he also restored the, uh, what, what Philippe calls the vocabulary, the, the paintings. Uh, the, the gargoyles, uh, the pinnacles, and the... Uh, qui sont toutes des choses euh, techniques. Une gargouille, c'est utile. Un pinacle, c'est utile. All these things are technical. So a gargoyle has its utility. A pinnacle has also its utility. Euh, 
euh, et après, il est rentré dans la cathédrale et il a cette fois restitué, comme on pensait que c'était au XIXe siècle, tout un décor, les vitraux, les murs, le mobilier. Then he, he got into the cathedral and he restored the cathedral as it as he thought it was in the in the Middle Ages. So not only the the paintings, the uh, the, the stained glass windows, the, the pillars, the the uh, the pictures, jusqu'au <coughs> ciboire. The lighting, also. Et donc, euh, la flèche est un des éléments de cette restauration globale, et c'est même le chef-d'œuvre. The spire is only one of the elements of this global restoration, and it's a masterpiece. Et alors qu'elle est parfaitement documentée, que tout le monde la réclamait, on peut le faire, donc on le fait. Et c'est une chance qu'on puisse le refaire parce que j'aurais personnellement pas supporté de voir autre chose que la flèche de Dieu est venue. And we have all the documentation to uh, redo it and it's a chance to be able to, to do it uh, because I wanted to see the spire as it was before. <laughs> well, maybe one more. Because <laughs> uh, wonderful back and forth and questions and answers. One more? Is there one? Oh, we get to fill a line at the city hundred dollars. Was the approval process both for Macron's government as well as the local planning commission? <laughs> 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 uh, just one, one thing before Philippe uh, answer the question. We have five years to, to rebuild, and we made two years just to be okay. So, so what you can do? So you can imagine. <laughs> Je me suis servi de l'argument du délai de 5 ans pour imposer dans, dans, le, dans la tête des décideurs que la flèche de Violet Duc était beaucoup plus euh, tenue dans le temps. So I use the argument Mais, of the... Euh, il a fallu qu'on qu argumente, nous, euh, faire un énorme dossier qui est passé en commission nationale, ministre, tout ce que vous voulez. Et comme on est en République, le roi, le président de la République a, a choisi de refaire la flèche à l'identique. So, Philippe use the argumentation of more or less the timeline which was set at, at five years for the reopening to effectively uh, argue about the fact that the, the rebuilding of the spire as it was before was the only one actually uh, a, a, that we could effectively afford in this uh, timeline and uh, as usual in France as we are in a republic so it's uh, the, the king who decides so it's a president of the republic is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have come to the end of this wonderful lecture. Uh, I just want to remind you all that this is a special year in the School of Architecture in which we're initiating a new program in historic preservation, resilience, and sustainability. So it's particularly important that you're here and your lecture is particularly meaningful to us in giving us uh, hope and, and, and uh, direction to make sure that we can deal with our built patrimony the way you've dealt with yours over the last almost 200 years. And not only that, but use the skills and the knowledge and the commitment to create beautiful new buildings, buildings that are durable, as durable, as beautiful, and as meaningful as the ones that generate so much passion and so much attention, so many means at this point to have it rebuilt. We need to do this for new buildings, which are being built these days without very much care and without, that, without much of a horizon. So we thank you, and we hope to come and see you in Paris very, very soon. All of us, this whole group. <laughs> <laughs>